for today. We do praise so God for another time to pray, another time to bond the midnight candle, another time to commit ourselves into your hands, another time uh, to ask according to our desire, another time to take our time to uh, relay our message. The Bible says, according to your word, it says to come to the throne of grace to obtain mercy. Lord, we ask today as we pray, we ask that you minister to us, minister to our needs, minister to our desire. For that, on behalf of sons and daughters, to reach out to them in the name of Jesus. Bring about their desires in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to understand that our God that we serve is still a miracle working God. I'm sure you are hearing under the sound of my voice. First and foremost, I don't have the rights to the music that is playing, playing under um, quietly, and I don't have the right to it. So please, before uh, Facebook or any other uh, the platform to which I'm using, side uh, questioning or side put some mention in place, I don't have the rights to it. Uh, it's song, the song is a familiar song. We make a miracle work, a promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God, that's who you are. And that song is originally sung by uh, our own sister, our own daughter, and that's in the person of uh, uh, Sinach. Uh, God bless you once again for this uh, great song that you have brought our way. It's not even this year, it's not even last year. But the song has been a blessing to me to remind us of who God is, to remind us of what God can do. You know, these days people still people don't believe in the miracles of God. As a matter of fact, there are some school of thought that believes that God, the, the miracles, signs and wonders finished in the days on the time of the disciple. I don't understand. You know. So today, before we pray, I want to you know take you through one or two things and I will pray. I believe strongly that the miracle power of God will be available to you, will be available for you today to bring about the desires, your desires in the name of Jesus. This is the midnight uh, cry where we pray. But we always let people know we need to pray with understanding. Uh, uh, I want to make you understand why or the need for you to pray. Why you need to pray. The uh, Bible says men ought to pray and not to faint. There's a lot that is happening today that we all need the miracles of God. We all need the miracles of God. And I pray for you today that the miracles of God begin to show forth in your life, begin to show forth in your family, begin to show forth in your home, begin to show forth in your business or your businesses in the name of Jesus. Even in your body, some of you are believing God for healing, you are believing God for deliverance in your body. I pray that the name of Jesus, that the miracle of God begin to show forth in your body and heal and deliver you from that infirmity, from that sickness, from that disease in the name of Jesus. Amen. Miracles, you know, the first, there's a law called, called the first mention, meaning there are things that happen in the, in the Bible, there are things that happen, where was it mentioned? The first miracle that was, that was in the Bible is in John. They have each testimony in another gospel, but we're looking at John. There's, this story is so simple, so unique. John chapter 2, the wine supply ran out during the festive. So Jesus' mother told him, they have no more wine. Now, understand, it's simple. Things in the marriage, something, in, in the, the, there's a marriage, Jesus was there as a guest, while his mother was there as a guest, and then the wine ran out. You know the story. Long and short of the story is the mother did not do anything. The mother gave an instruction. And that's why it is important for you to know. You know, we focus on our feeling instead of our faith most of the time. 
Now look at the response of Jesus' mother, even though most of the time when we share this story, when we tell this story, we don't look at, we don't look at the, the response of Jesus' mother. Imagine Jesus' mother did not respond this way. He said, telling the servants in John chapter 2, from verse 3, he said, whatsoever he tells you to do, do. So when it comes to the miraculous, these days people focus on feeling instead of faith, which is not supposed to. Sometimes we take matters to our hands. Look at the response of Jesus' mother. He gave an instruction, said, this matter is not your matter, this is Jesus' matter. So I want to remind you again today, brothers and sisters, this matter that you are going through, it's not anybody's matter. As a matter of fact, it's not even the devil's matter, it's God's matter. And that's why you need to stand your ground. You don't, don't take matters into your hands. Don't take matters into anybody's hand. Now, when it comes to the miraculous, sometimes these days now, we exaggerate the negative. For instance, you are believing God for the fruit of the womb. One year, two year, three year, four year, there's no fruit of the womb. People start saying a lot of nonsense. Yes, I know it's possible it's medical. Yes, I know it's possible that something is wrong somewhere, the devil. But yes, I also know whose report will you believe? You believe God or you believe men? I don't have any problem with using herbs. I use herbs. I don't have any problem using drugs. I use drugs. But I stand by God first. Do you know that even the drugs and the herbs you are taking cannot work except you believe and faith? Have you ever wondered or ask, just ask that question? This thing I'm saying, when you get to the spiritual, they say, there's always a slogan for your spiritual. They say, we care, but God heals. Meaning even the doctor themselves know they cannot do anything. So the question is, what does it take to get a miracle? Number one, do what Jesus did. In John chapter 2 verse 3, the wine supply ran out during the festives. So Jesus' mother told him they have no more wine. And all of a sudden, she remembers, oh yes, he is God. He is fixing to tell you something. It might not make sense. I raised him as like a little different, but do what he says. He told them to do something that didn't make sense. Do what Jesus says to do. You want the miraculous. It does not make sense. But still do what Jesus says. I have a testimony to that effect. You know, a couple came to me years ago, years ago. And they have issues. And what the Holy Spirit told me to tell them was ridiculous to me itself. But I told them, say, go and do your wedding again. And they did the wedding again. And all of a sudden, somebody somewhere brought a fresh food to them. And then they didn't need to pray any prayer. They got the miraculous. They've been praying for the food of them for years. Obeying that simple instruction. Remember the story of the uh, of, 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 um, of um, that uh, leprosy general. General that was leprous. Met, met with the man of man of God. What did the man of God tell him to do? Go and wash yourself in the river seven times. He obeyed. He got the miraculous. It does not make sense. There's some, is there something in the water that washes clean? No. Obedience. So do what Jesus says to do. Number two, focus on what God wants you to do. Anytime you are looking for a miraculous from God, we have to focus on what He is doing in you. God will take a problem and if He sees an opportunity to teach us something, He will. He will delay the answer to teach us the character issues. He is more concerned about what is going on inside that is in your situation. The external is going to go away. Who we are dozens who we are dozens if we focus 
on what God wants to do in us, our life will be most rewarding. They are ever have been even doing the hardship. Focus on what God wants to do. How do you get miracles? How do you get the miraculous in what you are going through? Number one, do what Jesus did. It does not make sense. It, as a matter of fact, when it comes to the things of God, I would say God used the foolish thing to confirm the wise. It may not make sense to you, but still do what He says you do. I remember years ago, also, we are believing God for the fruit of I said, Name your baby. They are come, come and dance. And while they were dancing, the Spirit of God took over. They, you know, they, were, they, they were just, they, the dance they were dancing was not normal dance. The Spirit of God came upon them. And the next few months, not up to a year, they got pregnant. I didn't pray. It was an instruction. It does not make sense. Dancing, carrying your baby, naming your baby, would, 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 no. But it does not make sense. So doing what God said you should do goes a long way. Focused on God. If you are expecting the miraculous, focus on God, not on man. Focus on God. Believe in the unbelievable. I've, you know, I've had you know, countless of testimonies in the Bible of how God does some things that is tongue, no, 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 tongue wagging. You, know, you open your mouth and what it come. Is this real? Why do you think people you know, cross the Red Sea? Why do you think people you know, think you know, uh, their death is given back to them alive? So, but you need to understand the third thing for you to get the miraculous, for you to experience the way maker, Jesus himself, you believe in the unbelievable. I want you to be people who trust God for big things, the unbelievable. Trust God for victory. Believe for the miracles. Don't limit God to the size of your brain. Realize that God does the impossible. Somebody say God is the impossible, eh, 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 the, the possibility specialist. With God, all things are possible. So believe God for the unbelievable. God woke me up one morning and then I was just saying, bang, 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 as in, you know, a lot was entering my phone. I've been praying for God's deliverance financially. And then, that time, we got over 300,000 and God's deliverance. As I'm talking to you, every day I believe God for more than 100 million. I don't know how. I need money to do so many things. I'm not holding on to man. I'm holding on to God. I trust God. So I believe God for the unbelievable. I believe to receive a phone call from uh, the president of, of Nigeria. I believe God to have my own office at the headquarters. I believe God that one day somebody will bless me with a car, a fleet of cars. I believe God I have, even as I work full time. You can believe God for your children. You can believe God for children to give God to give your own children. You can give you no. Know, sometimes when I tell people that there was a time I was a sickler. There was a time I have all sort of, don't know, maps on my body, eczema, skin disease. But as I'm talking to you right now, nobody prayed for me. I believed God for the unbelievable. I don't fall sick anyhow. I don't have any skin disease again. Nobody prayed for me. So understand, to get the miraculous, you need to believe God for all to the unbelievable. Enough of all this. Yes, I know there are men of God that had a grace can pray for you, but you they can't do it by themselves. You have to join your faith with theirs also. Don't forget 1 Chronicles 20, 20 chapter 20. You must believe in God. Then you must believe in the servant of God that is praying for you. Number four, don't forget what I'm sharing with you is about the miracle, the miraculous God. What does it take to get a miracle? Number one, do what Jesus did. Number two, focus on what God wants you to do. Number three, believe in the unbelievable. Number four, expect the best. We need to trust the Lord for the best. Do you think it will be exciting 
if all of us lived our life expecting the best. Pray for those who have no joy. It's gone. Relationship is dead. Disease. Put your faith back in God. Expect the best of I wake up every morning. You know, I was in I was in I was in the school as a pastor, the garden counselor to schools. So I was in the school this morning and I was sharing with them. And I told them, do you know that even now as I'm sharing this, my thought with you with the scripture, this is the amount of money I have with me. And all of them look, that can be possible. So I brought out that money and they were shocked that I was telling the truth. And I told them again that every morning, even with zero cobble in my, in my account, with zero nana in my hand, I wake up expecting God, expecting the best from God, expecting God to bless me. But adventure, that day goes like that, doesn't happen. I still wake up the next day expecting the best of the best of God. Because that lies in the miraculous. What are you expecting from God? What challenges are you, are you going through? What is the problem that you are having right now? Are you in debt? God is still the way maker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. That's the kind of God that we serve. The miraculous working God. Because if you don't believe in his workings, there's no prayers that will pray for you that God will answer. And as a matter of fact, it is important for you to understand this thing. Without faith, the Bible says it's possible to please God. Meaning, if you don't have faith, if you don't believe, sometimes people send a prayer point to me and they will repeat and repeat and repeat and say, this person does not believe in God. Just looking for men, men of God that will be praying and wasting their time. So I ignore such people. But I believe as I join my faith with yours today to pray with you that God will perform his miracles in your life in Jesus' name. That the glory of the Lord will begin to reign supreme in your life in the name of Jesus by the reason of the call of God and the grace that I carry. Deliverance is yours in the name of Jesus. Healing is yours in the name of Jesus. Lifting is yours in the name of Jesus. Transformation is yours in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have lost before, I command a total restoration, whether in your business, whether in your health, whether in your home, whether in your marriage, I command total restoration in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, total restoration in the name of Jesus. Listen, God is still the miraculous working God. The question was asked, is anything too hard for him to do? And you know the answer is, there's nothing that is too hard for our God to do. As a matter of fact, I'm reminded of a story just now by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of the living God. Lazarus was there for three days and then he came back to life. And we have had people in our own time that have died in more than three days and they came back to life. What is that dead thing in your life? I command them to come back to life in the name of Jesus. God instructed the man of God in the valley of dry bones. And he was asked, can this come to life? He said, prophesy. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to every dryness in your life. I command the life of God to come back to that situation right now in Jesus' name. Maybe dryness in your marriage, dryness in your relationship, dryness in your body, dryness in your business, dryness in your ministry. I command the life of God to come back into them right now in the name of Jesus. God is still the miraculous working God. And there's nothing that is too hard for him to do. Father, we thank you. We praise, O oh God. We give you praise. Mari gada ho she de le bro go do go la yanda la ba kaso ma kaso te le 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 la yaba yanda la da bra gada ba 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 ma shata la bra gada ba la da bro go do go 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 se te le bra gada ba 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 ba. It might not make sense, but I believe that God is ministering to your heart right now. 
God is giving instructions on what to do. Makaso telebra shata la bayande le rege le rebo soto lo bro godo go shata. Whatever the Holy Spirit is ministering to you to do, please go ahead and do it. It may look ridiculous. Go ahead and do because there lies in your miracles. Don't forget the things I shared with you. How to get a miracle? It's so simple to get a miracle. Father, we thank you. We give you praise to God. Thank you for your sons. Thank you for your daughter. Thank you for their needs. Some of them are in serious debt to our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus. To raise men and women for them. To be able to get them out of every debt in the name of Jesus. Some of them are sick in their body. They are asking you, God, when will you heal me? When will you deliver me from this ailment? When will you deliver me from this sickness? When will you deliver me from this disease? Lord, I stand in the place of authority and I command every sickness in their body to go right now. I command every sickness in their body to go right now. The Bible says our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, meaning nothing cause sickness to stay there. I command every insanity to leave that body right now in the name of Jesus. You are always almost gone ma- going mad. You don't know what's happening to you. Once in a while, you say some you begin to say something, begin to misbehave, or, or your child begins to misbehave, you're not going to misbehave. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit of insanity to leave them right now in the name of Jesus. That sister, that brother that, that is complaining, that don't understand what is working in your body. It's like it's like that, 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 that something strange is working in your body. The stranger, that is the body, that is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And therefore, any strange thing in your body, whether it's whether whether in form of any animal, whether it's form of any any spirit, in the name of Jesus, I command that uh, 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 that thing working in your body to leave your body in the name of Jesus. Your body is owned by the Holy Spirit. And therefore, anything that is giving you discomfort, anything that is giving you pains in the name of the command to leave your body right now in Jesus' name. Father, we give praise, O oh God. To you be glory, to you be honor. I command the peace of God to come back into that home right now. I command the peace of God to come back into that home right now. Mashata la braga da sete de bayan de 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 boshata. Mari de 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 boshata la braga da da ba. And the peace of God that pass on understanding rest that abide upon that home afresh in the name of Jesus. Father, we give praise, O God, to you be glory, to you be honored. Thank you for the miraculous in the lives of your sons and daughters, in their businesses, in their homes, in their schools, in their ministries, in the name of Jesus. So you be glory to you be honored in Jesus' name. Pray. Please be informed. I always want to encourage you. Please, there's a possibility what I'm sharing may not benefit, or if you have benefited from it, please help us to share. Share. I'm not saying share several times. Share other times where we are, you are sharing for the, for people, other people to benefit from it. That's all. Because I don't encourage you to say share times if you want to get blessed of God. No, that is witchcraft. That is that is manipulation, manipulating people. And I don't do that. And that's going against the scripture. But I say you should share so that the gospel can be preached to other people. So I post share, copy the link, share to other people so that can be blessed of it. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. And the rest of you subscribing is for you to get every fellowship of ours, every programs of ours, for stand information. That is the essence. Because if you don't do that, this uh, we will not get to other people and I said that God bless you in Jesus name most importantly also I thought you have been seeing our numbers on our screen please I beg you you need prayers drop at the comment box or copy the number call the number whatsapp the number and we will respond to you we join you in prayers because we believe in praying too and I know as we pray for you God will, God's deliverance will come in the name of Jesus. Most importantly, finally, we need your help, we need your support, we need your donation. There's a lot that we do outside of social media. We need you to be a covenant partner of the Image Makers Ministry. So I'm sure you see on the screen also, whatever you can, if it's daily, if it's monthly, if it's quarterly, if it's yearly, please support our dreams, support our vision, be a covenant partners of us. 
and I'm sure we can boast about it. Our covenant partners can testify to that, that as they give to us, we, every day we raise an altar for them so that God will keep blessing them so that they can remember us for good. God bless